Hey guys, Jonathan here, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing all of the minifigures from every version of Jabba's sail barge from 2006, 2013, and now in 2024. All the figures you see here are the characters that were consistent across every set, meaning we got an R2, a Jabba, a Leia, so on and so forth in pretty much every set, and then there are a few that only came in one or the other, but there were several characters that only came in one version of the set, which aren't really able to be compared one-to-one, -one, so we We'll start with those and then do direct comparisons of everybody you see here. If you like what you see, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below. Thanks to LEGO for sending me the new sail barge to make this video with, and let's get so started. So before we do the direct minifig comparison, each of the three sets came with their own unique minifigures that didn't appear in any of the others. So for example, back in 2006, we got Skiff Guard Lando. We also got Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and that classic Boba Fett, which definitely added a lot of great main characters to the value of the set. In 2013, we got Regis as well as the Weakway character, and these were both really good additions too, because I'm not really sure what other set we could have got them in besides this. And then in 2024, we got repeat characters like C-3PO as well as Bib Fortuna, who appeared in other sets, Bib Fortuna being the Book of Boba Fett version, kind of weird, and C-3PO getting the great arm and leg printing, which is cool. But we did get three alien characters with Woof, Kithaba, and Vizam. So these are really cool additions. You can't really compare these one-to-one -one since they're all different characters, but comparing all three barge figures, I thought this was a good way to kick off the video. All right, so we got a Gamorrean guard back in 2006, as well as in the new 2024 one. The 2024 sail barge Gamorrean is not exclusive to this set, but it is a welcome addition, and the original one had so much character with that single color, unique mold that was never used on anything else, then the brown body underneath and the green legs. It's certainly not as detailed as the most recent version you see here, but there is a certain nostalgic charm to it, especially when you consider all the old Lego Star Wars video games that you had to fight against him as growing up. Well, if you're my age, at least. <laughs> All right, so now we'll compare the R2-D2s. And before anybody says it, yes, I am aware the middle R2 does not have the right 2x4 color, and he's missing some cups. I've lost those pieces over the years, so sorry about that. Anyways, it's interesting because this is kind of all three eras of R2-D2. You get the original R2 from way back in the day when Star Wars debuted. You get the Clone Wars era, which basically when the Clone Wars era R2 was in production, they were just putting him in every set regardless of the time period. And you have the new version of R2, which when we flip it around, gets back printing. So obviously the newest version is the most detailed, but for the sake of this comparison video, it is pretty cool to see all three side by side because it's a great way to compare basically every era of R2-D2. All right, now here are both Max Rebos side by side. And of course, these are under my studio lights, so it may be hard to tell the difference, but there is just an ever so slight difference that the new 2024 Max Rebo versus the 2013 one is a slightly, and I mean slightly, darker shade of blue. It is almost indistinguishable, but they are very, very close, and I think that that'll help bring the value of Max Rebo maybe down just a little bit, although... The new one is still in a super expensive set, so maybe not. I guess time will tell, but it is pretty cool that they brought Max Rebo back after all these years, and I think he looks great in both versions. Well, of course, because he basically is identical in both versions. <laughs> All right, here's every variation of Leia. Now, this is interesting because she has definitely evolved a lot over the years. You know, when Disney bought Star Wars not too terribly long after, they came out and said that they weren't going to make any more... Uh, toys or really even merchandise of Leia in this outfit. So in 2024, it is pretty crazy that we got the new one in this set. I don't really know how you could make Jabba's sail barge without it, but regardless, it is a great figure nonetheless. So if we throw it all the way back, you can see that it doesn't have anywhere near as much detail in the clothing, uh, you know, print of the figure, but it also doesn't have any back printing, whereas the other two do. Of course, that back printing is covered up by all three with that neck bracket, which I think it's only fair to include that here. And then when we get to our more recent versions, the so 2013 and 2024, we actually have like rubbery hair pieces for both. The new one with the braid coming down the front and the original with the braid in the back. They also have alternate head expressions for those two, whereas the original one does not. 
So overall, I do think that all three figures are really great, but I do think that the 2013 one is probably the best between them all, giving the most movie accurate look while having the most detail. When I was throwing this comparison together, I was so excited by the fact that we got another Salacious Crumb that I forgot that the original one actually came in Jabba's Palace, not the Sail Barge. But we're too late in and it's already in the thumbnail, so I might as well just compare them because it's a good excuse to do so anyway. So this did not come in a Sail Barge, but it looks like it is a slightly different mold when I see them side by side. Like the tail on the original one is slightly thinner and at a slightly different angle. But beyond that, they definitely used a lot of the same design cues to get the figure made. I think the old one has some sharper ears too when you look, but basically they are very, very similar. The biggest difference, of course, is in that face print where I think the original from, uh, I guess that probably would have been 2012, not 2013 now that I think about it. Regardless, I think it has a little bit more depth to the face and I like that it has pupils on the eyes, whereas the new one without the pupils, I don't know, it just looks kind of horrendous to be honest. <laughs> well, more horrifying than horrendous, but you guys know what I mean. And finally, that brings us to the main man himself, Jabba. Now, the original Jabba is definitely interesting. You could see that he had all these studs on the bottom that you could actually attach him to Lego, and he was made up of several pieces. These were like the dinosaur pieces that were being used back in the day. In fact, there were even dinosaurs made in this kind of sand green color, but... His tail is posable because of that, so that's kind of interesting. And his arms are also posable too, which makes him unique. I'll flip him around the back so you can see the molding there. But yeah, this is definitely a little bit cursed by today's standards, but totally awesome by vintage LEGO standards. 2013, or I guess 2012, because, uh, you know, Jabba debuted that year, but also came out in 13, was a little bit different. You could see that he had printing and more studs on the bottom so that you could attach him to stuff, but he's not raised with the studs like the original is, so the studs have to build into the figure as opposed to the figure raising above the studs, if that makes sense. He is a little bit more opposable because when you build him, there's a Technic pin in the center, and the arms are actually a part of the body, so they're not like separate pieces. And this arm, of course, has a tattoo. We'll flip it around and show you the back print here. And then we'll show you in comparison with the new one from the Sail Barge that you can see it appears to be just about the same mold, but the printing is a lot darker and more defined on the 2024 one. And I think that overall, it's not like one is significantly better than the other. They're both really good and they both have just about the same amount of printing. It just really comes down to what color scheme you like more. And with that being said, we'll go ahead and round out the video. All right, guys. Well, as LEGO has developed over the years, clearly so have the minifigure selection. So I'd love to hear which sale barge you think had the best figures in it and which one you think was the best value for the money. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next video.